Hello grade 12. Today's topic is Black Consciousness Movement. This is a history topic for grade 12. So guys, it's very important that you listen and understand this topic. Because first of all, I'm going to start and explain what the topic is about before I tackle the essay on how you can write the essay. Because there's no need for me to tell you the essay. You won't cram it anyway. So it's best for me to explain to you what the topic is about or how the topic is connected on how the topic uh, works what is black consciousness movement which is pcm and understand it all the steve because role everything about black consciousness movement so without wasting any time um let me begin the origins of black consciousness sorry guys if i'm too fast for you you can slow down the video if i'm too fast for you you can slow down the video Late 1960s and 1970s, new generation of young black students, professionals, and community workers come together with the shred kind of thinking known as black consciousness. A new black cultural identity was proud and assertive and modern. By 1976 BC, a way of life, mobilizing the youth in schools across SA. The young leaders would play a vital role in the revival of the ANC in the coming Yes, the young, the young people were leaders. So I'm going to talk about nature and aims of black consciousness because that's also very important. 1968, a group of black student leaders, including Steve Biko, broke away from the non-racial National Union of South African Students, the NUSAS. Former, the, the form, the formed. South, Af South African Students Organization, SASO. SASO declared itself to be a black organization working for liberation of blacks in South Africa at two levels, from psychological oppression as well as from political oppression and, and exploitation. SASO was the first consciously PC organization to clearly express the nature and aims of black consciousness. It said, black, blacks needed first to fight for psychological liberation and the only way to liberate their minds would be to break off all contact with whites and form their own independent black organization. Black people must build up their own value systems. They see themselves as self-defined and not defined by others. Black people wield power as the cohesive group. These are the nature and aims of black consciousness. So, Black Consciousness Movement in 1971, SOA, which is SASO, organized a number of meetings with black community, church, youth, and cultural organization to see if they could launch a united Black Consciousness Movement, BCM. Some, including Steve Biko, felt that blacks needed more time to develop confidence before openly organizing to challenge the state. But other PC leaders were impatient, and in 1971, the Black People's Convention, which is BPC, was formed. Meanwhile, Black consciousness lit liter literature and journali journalism flourished. Steve Pico became editor of BPC's Black Review, in which the ideas of PC were publi publicly debated. Some newspapers, like Eastern East London Daily Dispatch, edited by Donald Woods, carried a special column that was often written by Biko. The BPC did not have a deep community root of the band ANC and it failed to mobilize mass support in black communities. Most of its members were students and members of SASO, which I've already explained now. In contrast, the PCM was more successful among black high school students who were attracted to the military, tent, language, and defenses of authority. Um, and I'm going to also talk about uh, Steve Biko's role, which won't play a vital part in this topic. Steve Biko's role, born in Williamstown in Eastern Cape in 1946, after matriculating, went to on to study medicine at the University of Natal in 1966, became the president of SASO when it broke away to NUSAS in 1968. Believed that NUSAS was dominated 
by wild liberated liberals who could not free themselves from their privileged position in society. So that's uh, as and speakers which informed many PC central ideas, he embodied the spirit of community that existed among PC activists and the defenses and fearlessness refusing to be intimi intimidated by authority no matter what the state did to him. So that that won't play a vital role in writing your essay. And we're going to um, consciousness. 1973, Beacon 7, other PC leaders were saved with banning orders that forced them to move to isolated locations across their country. The state changed that exp expressing PC ideas in public was an act of terrorism. This was affirmed by Judge B Bush of in SASO BPC trial in 1975. He felt that the idea of PC in emphasizing group cohesion and solidarity encouraged feelings of hostility between blacks and whites, and that, is, and that this constituted an act of terrorism, the challenge of black consciousness in the state. This is also important. In 1977, 18 black consciousness media and church organizations were banned. This included SASO, BPC, and the South African Council of Church and the World Newspaper under its editor, Percy uh, Corboza. August 1977, Biko was arrested in Walma, Port Elizabeth, after secretly visiting a TV in Cape Town. Detained under the Section 6 of the Terrorism Act, brutally assaulted by police in prison and died of his injury on 12 September in Pretoria. The 1976 Soweto Uprising Black Consciousness, also important, this one. In the mid-1970s, the South African Student Movement, SASM, was formed to protest against the inferior black education in South Africa. Clearly, many leaders of SASM were influenced by black consciousness thinking and had contact with PC leaders. SASM activists played a role in organizing a peaceful protest, marches against intrusion, in Africans in June 1976 in Soweto. However, the intense state reaction in the matches turned the peaceful protest into a national wise explosion, youth, anger, and frustration. Police shot into crowds and school children, killing hundreds and students reacted by setting fire to schools and by setting fire to schools and government buildings. So Another thing that's important is the legacy consciousness, consciousness the, the legacy of black consciousness on South African politics. The banning of, of detentions of, uh, of 1970 meant the end of BC as an open as a political movement in South Africa, but the anger, defiance, and symbols remained. After 1970, remaining PC leaders were divided over to the strategies to follow the next. Many had begun to feel that PC had fulfilled its purpose and that the best way, the best way is to proceed in the struggle against apartheid way to re-establish links with ANC structures both in exile and increasingly underground in SA. During the 1980s, many of the leaders were, were that emerged in non-racial UTF, ANC and trade unions were activists that had cut their political teeth in PCM. This list includes Monsieur, Monsieur Lecota, sorry guys for not pronouncing the word wrong, forgive me, it's very hard to pronounce. Kosazana, Lamini Zuma, and Cyril Ramaphosa. However, not all PC leaders were happy about the revival of the ANC and non rationalism of mass democratic movement of 1980s. In 1978, a group of PC leaders formed an Azanian People's Organization, AZAPO. So that's it about a uh, black consciousness movement. If you guys were basically interested in black consciousness movement. So guys, uh, I've taught you about black consciousness movement, what it is and how it works. So now we're getting to your favorite part, the part that you've been waiting for. Um, I'm going to say the black consciousness movement essay. How you could write it, you can pick up some points and... And check out how I wrote my my essay, and maybe you can just uh, pick up some points and 
some techniques, then you can write your own essay to be perfect as mine. So play consciousness movement. Now you're in the exam room, you're writing an essay. Just pretend, just pretend like that. The black consciousness movement emerged in South Africa in late 1960s as a response to oppressive policies of apartheid government. Led by figures like Steve Biko, the movement aimed to empower black South Africans by promoting a sense of pride in their cultural heritage and challenging the dominant ideology of white supremacy. This essay will explore the origins and impact of black consciousness movement as well as its legacy to contemporary South Africa. The origins of black consciousness movement can be traced back to the formation of South African student organization SASO in 1968. SASO was established as a platform for black students to voice their grievances against the apartheid system, which denied them access to quality education and limited their opportunities for, so for social and economic advancement. Steve Biko and a medical student at that time at the time, played a key role in formation of the SASO and became its first president. Because philosophy of black consciousness was grounded in the belief, in the belief that black, black South Africans needed to reject the notion that they were inferior to whites and instead of embrace their own cultural identity, he argued that psychological effects of apartheid had left many black people feeling ashamed of their heritage and lacking in self-esteem. Black consciousness sought to reverse this by promoting a sense of pride in black culture and history as well as the commitment to black unity and solidarity. One of the key strategies of black consciousness movement was to create independent black institutions that could challenge the dominance of white controlled institutions. This included the establishment of black owned business schools and community organizations. The movement also sought to build alliances with other anti apartheid groups, both within South Africa and internationally. The impact of black consciousness movement was felt across South African society, particularly among young people. The movement's message of black pride and self determination resonated with many who had grown up under the oppressive regime of apartheid. SASO and other black consciousness organizations organization played a key role in mobilizing black communities and challenging the legitimacy of apartheid government. However, the movement also faced and significant challenges and opposition. The apartheid government saw black consciousness as a threat as a threat to its power and launched a crackdown on movement, arresting and imprisoning many of its leaders. Biko himself was arrested in 1977 and died in police and died in police custody, sp spanking a widespread protest and international condemnation. Despite his setbacks, the legacy of black consciousness movement continues to be felt in contemporary South Africa. The movement played a key role in shaping the political consciousness of a generation of anti-apartheid activists and its emphasis on black pride and self-determination remains a powerful force in South Africa culture. Today, organizations like Steve Biko Foundation continue to promote the values of black consciousness, emphasizing the importance of cultural identity, social justice, and human rights. In conclusion, the black consciousness movement emerged in South Africa as a response to the oppressive policies of apartheid government led by the figures like Steve Biko. The movement sought to empower black South Africans by promoting a sense of pride in their culture, ch cultural heritage and challenging the dominant ideology of white supremacy. Although the movement faced the significant challenges and opposition, its legacy continues to be felt in contemporary South Africa where it remains a powerful force for social justice and human rights. As I said, if I'm fast for you, you can just slow down the video. There's a YouTube fixture where you can slow down the video. So guys, um, this is it. This is um, what the Black Consciousness essays should be like. So you can pick up some points over there and learn more. So guys, um, if you want other essays like Vietnam War, you can check down in the description. I've done it. Um, and... If there are other essays that are left, you can comment down below. I will do the essay topic. I will explain everything so that you can understand. So, guys, this is it. Subscribe to the channel so that you won't miss out. I make sure that I release every, I release a video per week. I make sure that at least two or three week, three three videos per week. So it's very important that you subscribe because you cannot miss out on these lessons. These lessons are gonna help you. 
pass with higher marks and you're going to go to university and study and be a lawyer, especially history learners like to be lawyers. So guys, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so that you can get notification and like the video and share the video to other learners so that they can get the same knowledge.